Well, your co-author in this paper is Dr. Mike Brown, and Dr. Mike Brown, of course, uh, got a lot of notoriety for the whole partial demotion of Pluto, but he discovered quite a few of these KBOs, these Kuiper Belt objects, mm -hmm. right? I mean, several of the ones that are that have names were a result of his work. Absolutely. You know, in fact, you mentioned kind of, uh, you know, uh, sort of glory briefly earlier. If Pluto had not been demoted, I mean, Mike gets gets uh, hate mail for Pluto's demotion. But I understand. I, listen, I was doing a show at the time, and I was not feeling that at all, but go ahead. <laughs> but, you know, had he... Had he been of uh, of a different opinion, you know, that would have been maybe more kind of understandable from from just human greed. Because then, if Pluto is a planet, then all of the other objects he discovered, or or many of the other objects he discovered, are also planets. And then he's the greatest planet discoverer in in the history of time. Good point. In the solar system, right? So, it's a it's again a funny thing where Mike, I think, you know. Um, correctly pointed out that these these objects are not gravitationally dominant. They're, right. they're, Which is one of the three factors yeah. that determines what is a planet and what is not. That's right. That's that's really the kind of the most stringent. You know, these are these objects can be, you know, Pluto, for example, is pretty much a ball, right? So they can maintain um, a spherical shape, they orbit the sun. Those, those criteria are not too difficult to satisfy. It's the gravitational dominance that's that's the key. Uh, criterion and you know speaking yeah. of gravitational dominance and, and you guys have said this is clearly when we find it this is clearly a planet yeah so this could have moons sure yeah absolutely um, it's in fact it's reasonable to expect that it would have moons it's not just speculation Uranus and Neptune have moons mm -hmm. Jupiter and Saturn have moons sure even the earth has a, has a moon right so uh, yeah that's a totally uh, expected outcome, but you know, you mentioned gravitational dominance, uh, and I guess I, you know, we have been asked numerous times, why is it that, you know, why do you get to cherry pick? Why is your planet nine a planet and everything else not a planet? But the way that we know it's there, the re only reason we know it's there is because it's gravitationally dominating a huge part of the solar system, and we see that at quite a distance. Yeah. And we see that gravitational effect. So the definition of a planet is built into how we are going about discovering this object. 